All right, so recently I just picked up, bam! Can't see it really, but this is the Osmo Action, the new action camera from DJI, and I am super pumped on it. If you know anything about me or this channel, I've done, I've had my issues with GoPro. I've made videos about it. I actually received a lot of hate because of the videos I put out on GoPro um, in the past six and seven. But hey, those were, I, I really had issues with it. I really did not like the process from opening the camera out of the box to the firmware updates, to the way it interacted on the app, to the way it would just shut down. Just had issues with it and I expressed that on YouTube and got a lot of <laughs> negative response from both those videos. Um, and so when DJI just announced their new Osmo Action, I picked it up immediately just because I wanted a good action camera that works, but also I wanted to really see how it compared. Could DJI out GoPro GoPro at their own game? And so I picked up the new Osmo Action and I have the 7. Uh, I, I never use it. I, I still never use it. Phone call, just a second. I will be doing a in-depth review of it in the future. I wanna be able to go somewhere really cool, uh, really test it out, put it through its paces, but really quickly, I just wanted to give you guys my initial first impressions from pulling it out the box, touching it, handling it. That's what she said. It's absolutely phenomenal. No issues. Uh, the firmware and connecting it was just instantaneous, download instantaneous, so smooth. The way it holds, the grip, the quick switch, uh, the way the battery clicks in to the, the front facing view um, and able to switch back and forth between, seamless, there's no lag on the screen when I'm touching, switching through. I'm able to switch with this button, change the display with this button, record. It, it's so quick on the integration between the app and when I press it on the phone, it instantly, just everything about it right off the bat amazing and I've had absolutely no issues. The only thing that I will say right off the bat is that the memory card slot, I had a hard time, I don't have any nails, so like trying to pop out the memory card or pop it in, I had a little issue with that. It's just like really tucked in there, so I had a hard time with that, but that's it. That's the only complaint I have so far, and if that's the only complaint, then this thing is an absolute winner. Um, I really quickly just tested out the HDR mode, and just saw how that looks raw at the Prism Lens Effects warehouse where um, we were working and I, right before I just picked it up, that's where I was going and I did some footage there. And just, it, it already looks amazing, the pictures, the video. Again, I haven't fully tested it out yet. This is just my initial first impressions, reaction, right out the gate, right out the box. Absolutely love it, absolutely hate it. This is the GoPro, hate it. In my opinion, it's trash. I've had nothing but issues with their last two. I've had no issues with this whatsoever, and I already think and know just the usability of it and the image quality, in my opinion, is above the 7. And it's cheaper. It's already cheaper. It, without even testing it, this out GoPro's GoPro. I'm headed to Aruba probably in a week or so, so I'm really excited to put it through the paces there and give you a more roundabout uh, review. But I just wanted to give you guys my first reaction and impressions, and I'm impressed. And I was not sent this by DJI. I went out and bought it myself with my own money. I did not get this sent to me or was paid to review it in a positive light in any manner. I picked it up myself through Amazon and, um, that's it. So the next time you see this camera, it will be either a more in-depth review or an actual like kind of travel film or some, some video shot entirely on this. Until then, I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds.